Assessment Reconstructions. Reconstruction 1. It can be difficult to ask about sensitive topics like feelings. How are you feeling in yourself at the moment, uh, emotionally? I do suffer with depression, but that's probably due to my past life. Sometimes I get really down and I can't do things. I have good days when I feel good. I feel really happy. Mm. That's a bit like all of us, really, isn't it, yeah? My doctor's just changed my antidepressants. OK. So I'm kind of in between at the moment. Mm. So you're a bit low at the moment, yeah? Low mood, yeah. OK. Yeah. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, yes. OK. No, that's fine then. I think it's because of Christmas and I can't just get uh, out, like, you know, when I, I've got to sit and wait for things to sort of go by. Um, I was going to say it's probably down to this time of the year because it actually gets people down as well, you know. It gets to all of us, doesn't it? Yeah, well, you know. We'll move on then. Now press pause for discussion. What do you think about what happened in this assessment? What worked well and what would you have done differently? Reconstruction 2. Sometimes social care practitioners get drawn into helping people with problems in their lives. Hello Dylan, you alright? Uh, fine, thank you. Yes, that was um, looking mad, wasn't it? Um, do you remember your putting towels? Uh, on the floor, weren't you? Uh, um, yeah, because the water was coming in, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Oh, poor old chap. You paid the check, yeah? And it bounced, didn't it? Um, he hasn't left you a bill for the boiler, has he? Mm, no. Um, um, I think he's going to send it to us, I think. You didn't write a check, did you? Well, I've actually give it to him, but I don't know what happened with it. Um, um, you didn't write a cheque, did you write a cheque? I did write a cheque. Um, shall I look at a chequebook, please? The person, well, uh, the builder... We have paid the builder, we have paid the builder, but you're going to have another bill for the boiler? Banker, banker fat the cheque. Um, well, I thought it was the boiler that I paid for. Oh, I have a look, I have a look in your chequebook. Is that okay if I look in your chequebook, Dylan? Oh, well... Oh, that's a nice boiler, isn't it? I'm so... Why don't you come in the kitchen? It's a bit warmer in the kitchen, isn't it? Well... Let me pick up my book. Yeah, that's it. But that's why I was having... I was going to have to borrow your pen, Dylan, because I forgot my pen anyway. Me and the dog, we spend a lot of time out here, as you can see. Yeah, but it's, it's a bit warmer in here, Dylan. Come on, then. Yeah, but it's not so light and happy. Well, we'll put a, I'll switch the light on for what we're doing, OK? And then you can go back when you're done. It's all right? OK. Now press pause for discussion. What do you think about what happened in this assessment? What worked well? And what would you have done differently? Reconstruction 3. The assessor can get caught up in applying the rules when they don't fit the individual's needs. Okay, so is it that you're finding that the half an hour at lunch is, is not enough time? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Why do you think that is? Well, Kate's got trying to prepare the vegetables before the carer actually gets here. Right, okay. Because there's only half an hour and they take 20 minutes to cook. Yeah. She likes fresh food. Yeah, no, I Doesn't like cold food. No, I understand that. Yeah. And, you know, it takes time to prepare vegetables, potatoes, clear up, mm. cook it, serve it. Yeah. Um, I've come in this morning and tried to help, mm. you know, but I came in, there was breakfast dishes to start with right. before I even started doing okay. any preparation work. Right, okay. And is that, that kind of dirty dishes, is that happening breakfast, dinner and lunch? Yes. Okay. Every meal. Right, okay. 
And is it your government having to come in and clear the plates away, or is the carer doing that? No, there isn't time for them. Okay. They've just got time to cook the food. Right, OK. I think, just so I can make it really clear, because of the eligibility criteria, because of all the rules, um, what a manager might turn to me and say is, well, what about mobile meals coming in? I'm getting mobile meals as it is. Right, okay. I just want a nice meal every now and again. Yeah, no, I do, I do understand that. You know, and even some of them take up to 20 minutes to cook. Okay. And they're not the nicest food to eat. No, 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 I know, I know. Have you tried them? Uh, no, no, I haven't. Um, but I, yes, yeah, other people have told me they're not, they're not great. I think what you need to do is have a word with your manager mm. and get him to look at it from our perspective and see if he thinks he could clear up dishes, prepare vegetables, food, serve it and clear away in half an hour. Okay. He's welcome to come and try. Okay. I mean, it's really difficult and I'm not trying to be, you know, just blindly defensive of my manager. It's because it's not even his decisions, it's guidance from the government. And they're saying that this is what can be done in that time. It's like, you know, the contribution they're saying a person can live on, you know, every week. And because it's set by the government, um, that's what we have to do. We don't have much of a choice. What about my choice? I know, and I know the reality is very difficult, but um, and it could be very different, but sadly it isn't. Um, I mean, there is some flexibility, um, and if there's still not time, even when you're getting mobile meals in, then I could put that in an assessment and we could try and see if we can get the time length. Yeah, I don't like coming to rely on my sister all the time. No, I think you should go away and have a word with your manager okay. and see if we can rectify this situation. Well, we'll see what we can do. Thank you. Now press pause for discussion. What do you think about what happened in this assessment? What worked well and what would you have done differently? Reconstruction 4. Family carers also have their own needs, but it's hard sometimes for each person to have a fair hearing. In terms of things like managing your medication, um, do you manage that by yourself or is that with, with Kate's help? I do all of that. Right. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Support from Kate, yeah. There was a time when, uh, just before you left the home when the doctor decided that although he's got type 2 by diabetes, he needed to go on a small quantity of insulin. And did you help him with, with that, those injections? Yes. That's right. Okay. And what about things like making decisions about food and drink and stuff like that? How are you with that? I've made them already. Okay. Great. Okay. Fantastic. I enjoy cooking, so I just cook whatever we want. Okay. He's just started to put the weight back on. <laughs> Haven't you? Yes, I, I have. Far too much. <laughs> it's like a horse. Fantastic. That's good news, isn't it? <laughs> I think. I feed him on grass and hay. So have you always enjoyed cooking? Always. Oh, that's lovely. Now press pause for discussion. What do you think about what happened in this assessment? What worked well? And what would you have done differently? Reconstruction 5. Sometimes family carers speak for the disabled person and decide what's best for them. So it, it was my idea because I wanted her to, to go out and uh, do things herself, meet other people of her own age and different things. You know, she was a hairdresser, she could go out, meet people and, and talk about that. Not stay here, because she ends up not getting up, because there's nothing to get up for. Right, yeah, I see. Because she I'll get up, I get up and I go out to golf. I'm not back till one, half past. But she don't see the point in getting up because she's got nowhere to go. So she stays in bed. Okay, yes, I see. Yeah, well, I nag her. Yeah, I nag her and shout at her because I don't want her to do that. But it makes no difference. Oh, okay. So you see, the whole point is her, well, having a life. Yeah. Yeah. I think she wants that as well. Yeah, yeah I do. She does. You do. Um, you do, don't you? I, I really, yeah. really do. Yeah, yeah, keep the brain going, keep the body working, yeah. yeah. And so do you have any interests, what? No. Okay. None at all. No, unfortunately, I, I just, I just don't know what to do. 
iPads. <laughs> shopping. Yeah. Call that an interest? Yeah, she loves shopping. Online. Online shopping? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, she does a lot of that. But I don't shop online as much as I used to. I come home from golf and she says, let's go into town. Yeah. <laughs> Because I go to golf, well, you know, generally, you know, we try to. Okay, so you like going out to the shops and having a look around things yes. and doing that. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah, you, yeah, you don't, don't, don't put that in your notes. No, you don't want to encourage her. Yeah, but you, you see, if you go out and meet a friend for coffee, you know, think um, if she got someone to, to talk to, got to know people, uh, you know, they create a bond, wouldn't they? And, and she'd get different interests and yeah. I, I think she'd be a different person. Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, she'd, she'd have something to talk about in, in her own right, wouldn't she? Yeah. As opposed to waiting for me to come home from golf and getting in the car and going to a coffee shop. Yeah, it's boring. Yeah, boring. Well, that's what I hate. I always have to wait for someone and it's... it's no, I understand. That sounds really difficult. It, it gets on my nerves. Always waiting for somebody just gets on my nerves. Right. OK, I, th I think that was really useful. And I think we've established that it's around you getting out, isn't it? Because you're getting really low by staying inside all the time. Yeah. yeah. Now press pause for discussion. What do you think about what happened in this assessment? What worked well? And what would you have done differently? With thanks to our actors, Anastasia Basby, Idwal Baines, Franklin Chisango, Kate Connick, Nathan Hill, Jessica Roy, Christine Sargent, Rian Jutton, Dale Durrant and Martin Walsh. Thank you also to everyone who took part in the peer support groups at Wessel and their supporters Anna Wheeler and Valentina Cavallini. A special thanks to Nathan Hill for the graphic design. The research team at Nora Fry Centre for Disability Studies, University of Bristol. Our advisory group members from Bristol Disability Equality Forum, Compass Disability, Families Leading Planning, the Foundation for People with Learning Disabilities, the Alzheimer's Society and the School for Policy Studies. A special thank you to the social care practitioners who took part in this study, to all the disabled people who were assessed and to our workshop participants. Finally, we're very grateful to our funders, the School for Social Care Research, for their generous support of this study. However, the views expressed in these videos are those of the research team and the Wessel Group and not necessarily those of the NIHR, SSCR, NHS, the National Institute for Health Research or the Department of Health. For further information about the research, please see www.sscr.nihr.ac.uk slash publications.php or www.bristol.ac.uk forward slash sps slash research slash centres slash Nora Fry Research. Research.